Yo, what up, what up, what up, guys? This is Josh Diaz here with a unboxing of the MagSafe Duo Charger from Apple. Um, this is available for $129, so a bit on the expensive side with uh, chargers. So um, here on the back, you can see you can charge your iPhone on this and the Apple Watch on the other side. And there's different ways, as you can see, to set it up. You could uh, stand the uh, Apple Watch charger, so you could use it for uh, night nightstand mode. And you could close it up for travel. So let's open this up, see what we got here, and see what it comes with if you do decide to purchase this. We're back. That took a little bit. Um, and there we go. Nothing on this side. So here is the MagSafe itself. Nice. So it is solid and it does feel premium. I'll give you that. Um, in the box, you are going to get a lightning to what? USB, I assume. Yep. So a lightning to USB cable and just some paperwork. So let's just check this out. <clears throat> let's clear up, clear up the set. All right. So we have here, this is the front of it. We've got the Apple logo here. And on the back, just have the Apple Watch charger. Here is the USB connection. Or is it lightning? Let's see. Let's test it out right now. I believe it should be. Okay, so it's a lightning connection here. Um, all right, so we're gonna open it up. And here is the MagSafe. Let's get this plastic off. Nice. Here is the MagSafe charger. You'll place your iPhone here. And on this side is the Apple Watch charger. Very nice. So I think they say they recommend use yeah the recommendation is using a 20 watt charger to get the best per, uh, performance and best charging speeds um but it does it, of course it doesn't come with one those run about like 20 bucks i think um but i they come with if you have an ipad or something it it comes with one so uh let's hook this up and i'll show you guys how this works all right so i have my 20 watt charger here I have the lightning to USB cable that came with the device or the charging pad. Hopefully, I have a plug in front of me, so hopefully this is long enough. So take the USB-C, plug it. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Plug that in. Next, take the lightning, plug this in. So we should be money right now. So bam. So with the Apple Watch charger, it depends on what kind of band you have. I have this sport band that um, kind of loops, so it kind of won't work with this. So that's why it's good that they have this thing. So now I could easily spam, and there we go. We're charging. Then with the phone, all I do is just place it. Let's see. All right, I felt, I felt the. The MagSafe magnet kind of connect itself. So I think that is charging there. Yeah, you see the little icon on the top right that it is charging and ready to go. Also, you can are able to charge uh, your any, if you do have the uh, AirPod Pros or the AirPods second generation with the charging case, you can see the the amber light light up let's focus on that please thank you cameraman um the light is working so you could charge your airpods also there is no magnet here so this can slip off but with the phone i do have the magsafe case by the way so it kind of makes it easier to uh line everything up i'm just curious yeah so it's pretty strong i, I don't think you'll be able to take this off with one hand you kind of might have to maneuver it 
where you're either using your other hand to hold it down or you kind of use your thumb to pull off the MagSafe. Um, so yeah, I think that is about it. This is pretty cool. I'm liking this right here. I especially like the how uh, you're able to travel with this. Just fold it up and, you know, get on the go. So guys, what do you think? $130, kind of a high price point just to charge a device. Let me know what you think in the comments. Appreciate all the love. Check out my other videos and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.